Hey sleepers, it's time to wake up. The NFL Draft is approaching, and you better believe this is serious. You had a good high school and probably college career, but you're not considered one of the top prospects. Will you prove your critics wrong, or will your NFL career flatline? Jerry Mallory here for SB Nation and PrideofDetroit.com. We know the good teams are successful at it. Finding guys in the later rounds, whether it be round four, five, six, or seven, that become impact players. Guys that, at the end of the day, your team is built off of. There's about a 50% success rate for first round picks. So if you want to be a good team, you have to draft guys other than the first two to three rounds that will be impact players on your team. Let's take a look at some potential sleeper picks for the Detroit Lions. Wide receiver Thomas Mayo out of the University of California via Pennsylvania is a guy that really fits a need the Lions have been looking for for a couple of years. A bigger, more physical receiver to complement the physical prowess of Calvin Johnson. They've tried it with Maurice Stovall. They've tried it with Bryant Johnson. So far, they have not been able to do it. Here's a guy that could be had in the later rounds that can do just that. He's 6'2", over 200 pounds, and he's very physical. He's someone that would be very difficult to press. He has an ability to make the spectacular catch. On occasions, though, he will drop passes, which can be an issue. But this is an individual that, with the right type of situation, a little bit more concentration, catching balls in traffic, could be a very good complement as a fourth receiver, another physical receiver in the Lions camp. The next player we're looking at is also a wide receiver, Ryan Broyles. He did his thing at Oklahoma. Doesn't have the most size. He isn't a prototypical big physical receiver the Lions are looking to add in their core, but his productivity cannot be denied. Catching almost a touchdown a game at the college level. The ACL injury has hurt his draft stock notably, probably several rounds. What was impressive, though, is his recovery. Just five months after running a 4 5 7 40, looking pretty good, as though the ACL was not bothering him as much. The Lions have showed time and again they are willing to draft a player. Maybe because of injuries, their draft stock has fallen. They'll pick them up, hoping that the injury was a one-time thing and they can recover and they can be productive. Similar to what they did with Jason Fox. Now, the Fox scenario has not worked out yet, but it is a mindset the Lions have done. Ryan Broyles can catch balls. He catches touchdowns. He makes big plays. And if he falls, which everyone is expecting him to do, Look for him to be a target for the Lions. They are looking for a fourth receiver. Now, talking about receivers, uh, I think they're going to look for a fourth receiver uh, to actually, you know, get on the field and do some things. And I think they will look for a fifth receiver for return abilities. If they do that, look out for a prospect out of UConn, Kashif Moore, who has tons of speed and shows uh, return ability to be a target. A guy I interviewed just a few months ago saying that he is willing and able to do both kick and punt returns. Now, looking at the offensive line, You've got Joe Long. Now, he played at the school I went to, Wayne State University. Yes, Long may sound familiar on the offensive line. His brother, Jake Long, one of the best left tackles in the league. Now, Joe Long played left tackle at Wayne State University. If he gets drafted, I don't think he will. I think he will be an undrafted free agent somewhere. But I see him projecting as a right guard or right tackle. Uh, he's a prospect that has tons of work ethic. He's seen what his brother has done. He wants to, uh, to get to that level but better. Unfortunately, he does not have the physical tools that would allow him to play left tackle against some of the bull rushers in the NFL. But uh, his technique is very good and his work ethic is good to the point where I think he will work his way into an NFL camp fighting for a spot to play whether right tackle or right guard. Now, running backs, I've said it time and again, you get a lot of value with running backs if you draft them later. Ahmad Bradshaw, LeGarrette Blunt. Arian Foster. I am not a proponent of drafting running backs early. I even mentioned a guy who should have been drafted in the second round or later last year, DeMarco Murray, and one of my predictions that have turned out well so far. Well, the Lions need probably a replacement for Job at Best just in case because I think uh, he is one concussion away from retirement. And so that guy is Ronnie Hillman, uh, a running back from San Diego State. He ran a 4-4-5-40. He has a lot of speed, a lot of quickness, and catch the ball out of the backfield. So look for him to be a target in the later rounds as a potential Job at Best insurance policy plan. Speaking of insurance policy plans, they're going to draft a cornerback, and I think early, possibly even in the first round, but they're going to draft two cornerbacks. If they're going for a second guy, a guy that can play the slot, 
I love Ron Brooks from LSU. He's someone that had to play behind uh, Tyron Matthew, Patrick Peterson, Morris Claiborne. So he's never been the number one go-to guy at LSU, but he has been the perfect slot cornerback. Now, this guy has elite speed, 4-3-7 speed, and he has shown the ability to cover very well. He's not the best tackler. That can be an issue in Jim Schwartz's uh, defensive scheme. But when you look at his physical tools in terms of being able to cover and being able to have that speed, he's someone that I think the Lions may target in the later rounds to be a, a slot nickel type of cornerback. Now, speaking of guys and sleepers, someone that has been talked about for the Lions for quite some time, who I will go ahead and say will not be drafted by them, is linebacker Vontez Burfick. They talked about him for a long time because he makes big hits and he seems like a guy with that dirty mean streak. That could be a Detroit Lion. Well, here's the problem. The Lions like linebackers that are interchangeable. All three of their linebackers are very versatile, being able to play inside or outside. All three of their linebackers have a good amount of speed. Vontez Burfick is neither. He does not have speed at all. He ran a sub 540. He is not uh, interchangeable. He can't play the outside whatsoever. He's kind of a one-trick, big-hit pony, and uh, he's, his draft stock has fallen quite a bit, so much so where uh, he would be available in the sixth or seventh round, maybe the fifth round. If that's the case, though, I think the Lions will pass because it goes against their philosophy of interchangeable linebackers. What are your thoughts, ladies and gentlemen? Those were some of the sleeper picks that I mentioned. There are obviously others that the Lions may be looking at. There may be some that you're interested in. Leave your comments about those picks and other guys that could be drafted in the later rounds that you like to see in the Honolulu Blue and Silver. We'll be back later this week with more talk about the NFL Draft. I want to thank each and every one of you for watching the Pride of Detroit and SB Nation YouTube channel. This has been Jerry Mallory for That Said Channel.